Hello, everybody. We're going to continue with lesson 9.4 today. We are on page 379 of the third grade Go Math textbook. Our lesson today is compare fractions. And the central question you should be able to answer by the end of our lesson is what strategies can we use to compare fractions? So let's look at the unlock the problem. Luca and Anne are eating the same size small pizzas. One plate has three-fourths of Luca's cheese pizza. Another plate has five-sixths of Anne's mushroom pizza. Whose plate has more pizza? All right, so we know that one plate has three-fourths of Luca's cheese pizza. The other plate has five-sixths of Anne's pizza. And we have to find out whose plate has more. So how many pieces make up each of the whole pizzas? Cheese, there's four pieces. And in the mushroom, six pieces. All right, so how can we compare three fourths and five sixths? Well, today we're gonna to talk about the missing pieces strategy. And we can compare fractions by comparing pieces missing from a whole. So, for instance, in this case, I notice that one piece is missing from both of those pizzas. One-fourth is missing and one-sixth is missing. So, we're going to say three-fourths of Luca's and we'll shade five-sixths of Anne's. So, now if we compare these pieces, right, we see that one sixth is smaller than one fourth. Now, using the missing pieces strategy, if the missing piece is smaller, in this case, that means Anne has to have more pizza on her plate because these pizzas were the same size. Her missing piece is smaller than Luca's missing piece. So Luca has to have less of the pizza on his plate than Anne does. So if a smaller piece is missing from Anne's pizza, she must have more pizza. So Anne's plate has more pizza. Okay, so let's look at another one or another strategy. Morgan ran two thirds mile. Alexa ran one third mile. Who ran farther? Okay, so this time we're going to compare two thirds and one third. But what do we notice? We notice that the denominators are both three or thirds. So when the denominators are the same, the denominators are the same, you can compare only the number of pieces or the numerators. So we'd be comparing two to one, right? And so two thirds, Morgan ran farther. Two one third pieces is greater than one one third piece. So we've got two strategies here so far. Missing pieces strategy, where that's going to be helpful if we have different denominators and different numerators, but we notice that only one piece is missing. Okay, same denominator. We've talked about that in uh, two lessons ago. So same denominator strategy. And then we have one more strategy to practice, and that's going to be the same numerator strategy. So let's look at this example. Miss Davis is making a fruit salad with three-fourths pounds of cherries and three-eighths pound of strawberries. Which weighs less, the cherries or the strawberries? So same numerator strategy. When the numerators are the same, look at the denominator 
to compare the size of the pieces. So we have three fourths compared. We have three eighths compared to three fourths. A one eighth piece is smaller than a fourth because there are more pieces. Remember, the, the greater the number um, of pieces in a whole, the smaller the pieces. So three eighths is less than three fourths. So which one weighs less? The three eighths pounds of strawberries. All right, so we're going to practice those three strategies. Same numerator strategy, same denominator strategy, missing, missing pieces strategy. So let's compare 7 eighths and 5 sixths. So the denominators are not the same. I can't use the same denominator strategy. The numerators are not the same, so I can't use that. So it must be missing piece strategy. So we see that an eighth is missing from this one and a sixth is missing from this one. So if we say one eighth compared to one sixth, which one's larger? The one sixth piece is larger than the one eighth. So seven eighths compared to five sixths. So if the piece that's missing of five sixths is bigger a bigger missing piece than the one eighth, that means the seven eighths has to be more. Okay. So if the smaller piece is missing, that fraction is greater. All right, one half compared to two thirds. So again, the numerators are not the same. Can't use the same numerator strategy. The two and the three are not the same, so we can't use the same denominator. So we're going to use the missing pieces strategy. So we're comparing one half to one third. Which fraction is smaller? The one third would be smaller. So in this case, the smaller piece that's missing is the large uh, is the part of the larger fraction. So two thirds is larger than one half. This is the missing pieces. Stretch. All right, number three. The numerators are not the same. The denominators are the same. So we're going to use the same denominator strategy. And when the denominators are the same, that means it has the same number of equal parts. So which one has more of those equal parts? This one has three one-fourth pieces. This one has two one-fourth pieces. So three-fourths is greater than two-fourths. All right, number four. The numerators are the same. The denominators are not the same. So we're going to use same numerator strategy. Okay, so if the numerators are the same, all we have to do is compare the size of those pieces. So we'd be comparing one sixth and one eighth. If we just took one eighth and compared it to one sixth, the eight has more equal parts in it in the whole, so that means that pieces have to be smaller than the one sixth piece. So three eighths is smaller than three sixths. All right, number five. Three and seven are not the same numerator, can't use that strategy. Four and eight are not the same denominator, so I can't use that. But I noticed that there's one piece missing from the three fourths and one piece missing from the one eighth. So we can use the missing pieces strategy. All right, so 
one fourth is missing from one fourth is missing from three fourths. One one eighth is missing from seven eighths or eight eighths. I guess would be the right way to say that. Okay. So the one fourth is a larger piece, right? So one eighth is smaller. In this missing pieces strategy, the smaller the missing piece, the larger the fraction is. Okay, so the one eighth is smaller, so seven eighths is bigger than three fourths. Number six. All right, so the numerators are not the same. The denominators are the same. So Well, if the size of the equal pieces are the same, which one do I have more of the pieces? I have one piece here and I have two pieces there. Well, a half is smaller or less than two halves. One third, one fourth. So I know its numerators are the same. So let's use the same numerator strategy. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to get one piece no matter what. Which one has the bigger pieces? Something broken into three pieces has less pieces in the whole than something broken into four pieces. The more pieces a whole is broken into, the smaller the pieces. So one third is larger than one fourth. Two thirds, five sixths. So the numerators are not the same. We can't use that strategy. The denominators are not the same. I can't use that strategy. But I do notice that there's one piece missing from three thirds. Two thirds plus one third is three thirds. So one third is missing and one sixth is missing. So we're looking in the missing pieces strategy. We're looking for the piece that is smaller because that means that fraction is larger. So one third is bigger than one sixth. So one sixth is missing. So there's a smaller piece missing from the sixth. So that makes the sixth larger. That's the five sixths larger than two thirds. Number nine, four sixths compared to four halves. Here, the numerators are the same. So use the same numerator strategy. If the numerators are the same, that means I'm getting four pieces no matter what. Are the pieces going to be bigger if my if the whole has six pieces or if the whole only has two pieces? Well, something with two pieces is going to be a lot larger than something with six pieces. All right, number 10 and 11. Name a fraction that is less than or greater than the given fraction. Draw to justify your answer. Something less than five sixths. Well, as far as making something easiest, anything less than, like I would use the same denominator and I would go with four sixths. So I could show that by
Okay, so something less than five sixths. All right, so that's five sixths. So anything less than that. Something greater than three eighths. Well, let's say I was going to have, again, the easier way is to have the same denominators. And so anything greater than three eighths would be an appropriate answer. Four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, and so on. If I wanted to do something with like, say the same um, numerator, then the denominator would have to be smaller than the three eighths. So this is like what I'm saying. I could have something like three sevenths. Okay, the seventh size pieces are smaller than the eighth size pieces. All right, number 12, Luke, oh, we do have to still draw a picture, right? So eighth, so three eighths. And I need to have something that's greater than three eighths. And I said four eighths. And four is bigger than three. Okay, number 12. Luke, Seth, and Anja have empty at glasses. Mr. Gable pours three sixth cup of orange juice in Seth's glass. He pours one sixth cup of orange juice in Luke's glass and two sixth cup of orange juice in Anja's glass. Who gets the most orange juice? So we're comparing three sixths to two sixths to one sixth. Well, the size of the pieces are all the same. So same denominator strategy. Which one has the most? The three sixths does. So Seth has the most orange juice. And 13. Jack says that 5 eighths is greater than 5 sixths because the denominator 8 is greater than the denominator 6. Describe Jack's error and draw a picture to explain your answer. Okay, so the denominator 8. is less than the denominator six. Because the eight has more pieces in the whole The pieces have to be small. All right, so how can we show that? Okay, so
model will be drawing two rectangles that are the same size. Okay, break one into eight equal parts, break the other one into six equal parts. If you shade five parts in each one, you'll see that the five sixths is longer than the five eighths. All right, 14. Tracy is making blueberry muffins. She's using four fourths cup of honey and four halves cups of flour. Does Tracy use more honey or more flour? What do you need to know? Okay, so we need to know four fourths cup of honey compared to four halves cup of flour. What strategy will you use? So we're comparing that, right? So I noticed that the numerators are the same, so I'm going to use the same numerator strategy. Show the steps you used to solve the problem. So, in this case, the larger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. So, 4 is larger than 2, so the pieces are smaller. Complete the equation. Let's see, four halves is greater than four fourths, so she uses more flour. All right, and 15. Compare the fractions, circle a symbol that makes the statement true. Two eighths compared to two fourths. So I can use the same numerator strategy. The four is smaller than the eight. Well, that means that this fraction is going to be larger because there's less pieces in the whole. So 2 fourths is greater than 2 eighths, or 2 eighths is less than 2 fourths. 1 fourth compared to 4 eighths. Well, technically, this is kind of an unfair question to, to ask at the third grade level. because we really haven't discussed this idea either, but this is a strategy I would say, um, compare to one half, okay? Half of eight is four. So four eighths is one half. Half of four is two. So one fourth is less than one half, right? So if one four, if half of eight is four, then four eighths is one half. This one's less than one half. So one fourth has to be less than four eighths. All 
All right. So that's it for the three strategies for comparing fractions. Um, in our next uh, session, we will review for the mid-chapter checkpoint. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.